Welcome back to Studio STL. You might have some new items in your closet after the holidays. So now it's time to take inventory and get organized and maybe help spruce up some of your go-to outfits. Joining us now is Sean Phillips from the West County Center. Sean, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you. Of course. I mean, you brought in a nice spread of things today. But yeah. if people are really at home and they're like, okay, wait, how do we spice up that new sweater or jeans? Where do we even start? Yeah, so let's start with some kind of trendy things um, that you can do with maybe what you already have. Um, but we'll start with um, jeans and, um, you know, cuffing the jeans. So very popular. Oh, I am. You're all about the cuff. I am all about the cuff. <laughs> you will never catch me in a pair of jeans that are not cuffed. Yep. So just a couple of rules. The first thing is it's best to do the cuffing while you have the jeans on because, you know, <laughs> the cuff should kind of land at the top of your shoe. Um, unless you're trying to show a little bit more ankle, um, you know, then you could go a little bit higher with it. But the other rule is if you have a slim leg pant, then do a skinny cuff. Okay. So, you know, this is a men's pair from H&M. So I just, this is more of like a slim jean. So just did, you know, kind of a two roll. Um, real easy cuff, but uh, a, you know, kind of a slim cuff. And I like that you said that this is a men's pair of jeans because, fellas, yes. you can cuff, too. That's it's right. okay. Everybody right. can cuff. <laughs> yep. And then the women's pair, I have more of a wider leg mm -hmm. um, jean, and so we did a wider cuff. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind when you're when you're doing the cuff, depending on what kind of jeans you're wearing and what size cuff that you want to do. And I have these jeans and the sweater from Versona. This is perfect for Valentine's so Day. So cute. Love the yes. pinks and the reds. <laughs> Getting you ready for the big day. That's right. I like that you've also brought in a few ties as well. Yeah. So um, these are from um, H&M, um, also for the men. Um, but, you know, there's lots of great videos online that you can watch about tying a tie. But, you know, I thought maybe just, you know, it, it's called a simple knot um, and it's just real easy I'm putting myself in a lot of pressure here trying to do it live I on have TV. faith in you guess yeah. what I can't help you out if you get stuck I was gonna say you could try one if you want um, but uh, you know you kind of have to let the the long part go uh, okay. longer so that you know you're kind of leaving room for that tie um, then you bring over the uh, yes that's right bring that over and then swing it over one more time yep oh, swing boy. it over one more time and this is how you're making your knot your knot is right here so you kind of feel it that you have the knot. Oh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> and then you bring it under your neck. Sean, bring, you bring just the, lost me. Yep. Bring the big part under your neck. Mm -hmm. Yep. Really easy. And then there's only one more step. Oh, that you didn't, you didn't go as yeah, you didn't, yeah, you, yeah, There you go. There you go. There you go. And there then, we go. And then you just bring this piece right in the middle there. Yep. Oh my gosh, and I just tied a tie. Yes. For the first time ever. That's right. So, oh, you, I think maybe you just didn't bring it all the way through. But but you, that was a good effort. You almost Thank did you. it. You did it. Yes. That's so that's what's important. That's just a simple knot. And you can find videos um, online to do that. Okay, as well, well but, I have some homework to do, or yeah. else my kids are going to be in trouble. Just kind of wrapping up here with hats. You know, hats are really popular right now. So, a good rule of thumb for that if you have more of a square or a, a long face, you want to do wider brims. Okay. So, I have these from Versona these from Francesca's um, and if you have more of a round face heart-shaped face then you want to do smaller hats um, you know so I don't know you're, Ooh, probably, you're I, I definitely have a rounder face. yeah yeah so sure. like a smaller hat like that these are from Versona that looks fantastic thank you thank you absolutely it actually is really cute I it like is that. some men's hats from H&M you know this is kind of like the newsboy hat like I'm not really a hat person so but I, it looks I won't great on, on you Sean no I think <laughs> you should keep it on for the rest of the segment okay see there you um, go so like beanies are great for a round Mm -hmm. um, uh, face as well and then of course baseball caps um, you know those are good for more of a round um, heart-shaped face as well and then just ramping up here with scarves so lots of different ways that you can tie a scarf again there's lots of videos online I have these scarves here from Versona you know this is just an easy way to do your scarf where you put it backwards and then just bring it around and you Ooh, just kind of leave it that nice. way so that's for a longer scarf and for a shorter scarf I like they call this kind of like the bib so, you know, really, you just kind of grab it. A fashionable fit. That's right. You just kind of <laughs> grab it like this um, and, and let it drape and then tie it in the back. So, you know, it, it's just very simple. So lots of ways to style, uh, you know, the accessories um, that you'll find a lot of uh, right now here for winter. Nice. Well, I love accessorizing and bringing things to life, whether it's with the scarf. I necessarily don't have to wear a tie, but, yeah. you know. You could, though. I could. Yes.
you guys might see me in one Drew Barrymore wears this tie like every day. On. And yes. I am kind of obsessed with the yeah, look. Yeah, she looks so, great. You know, yeah. I might take a page out of her book. But St. Yeah. Louis, if you are interested in maybe spicing up some of those new holiday items or maybe even some items that are already inside of your closet, you can find all of these accessories at the West County Center. You can show them some love on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and you can head online to their website at shopwestcountycenter.com. You can show them some dove love while shopping for these accessories and maybe Maybe even getting ready for Valentine's Day. Don't go anywhere, St. Louis. We'll be right back in a jiffy.